Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you about fibromyalgia and your twin flame journey. Now, a fair amount of people either feel the symptoms of this, and I'd like to help distinguish what can be done about it from a metaphysical standpoint. So, hi, I'm a metaphysician. I am also a medical intuitive. If you had 15 years of experience with this and let's just dive right in right now so in order to talk about fibromyalgia let's talk about it as a series of symptoms that actually really pertain to your nerves and a specific part of your central nervous system it is called the peripheral nervous system now this isn't a quick easy fix this is nothing you can wave a magic wand over but people suffering from it find that it's quite debilitating and painful. Now, there's a number of things that can happen on your journey that are very, very painful. Uh, you can have a lot of discomfort. You can actually have a lot of visceral pain. The visceral pain comes from the past and it comes through your ancestry and it can be exacerbated by lifestyle. But lifestyle doesn't always fix it. Um, just quitting something like quitting sugar doesn't always fix that problem. Or quitting something like um, smoking, although that will help, your body has to go into a very hard detox when you do this. So what I want to let you know is that fibromyalgia has a lot to do, metaphysically speaking, of everyone being on your nerves. Now, this is a very hard thing because you could say, well, I'm pretty much here and I'm fatigued and I really don't go out much. It's about everything that has accumulated. It's about also what you may be watching, what you're connected to, and what your other half is connected to. This is what makes it challenging. And this is making it doubly challenging for the medical community who you need, but yet do not have answers because they can't respond to as to why would you feel affected by someone else's habits, lifestyle, what they're doing, where they live, how they are, what, what's been there in the past. This is where I come in because my work is the living bridge of metaphysical light body work to open you and to help you retract and retrieve all of your essence because you're not really broken, fragmented soul with pieces all over the place. But you do have parts of you that you've given to things that you've cared about in certain times. And you're drawing this back to you. This is a burden for people who are primarily magnetic people, which is a lot of women. This is why predominantly it will show up in women a lot more, although men do suffer from this. Electric people tend to go, 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 and they're literally sometimes the ones that are draining you dry. And this could be the electric other side of you. This could be you being drained because your magnetic side is not getting the tank filled. And again, this causes some forms of at atrophy, neuropathy, and pain, discomfort, visceral pain in and around the organs and the peripheral nervous system. Now your central nervous system manages this part for you, but this is more of your waking moment type of nervous system. So this is your awake state, okay? When you are awakened, when you've had your uh, activation that you are now awakened and it is time, it's actually time to now properly address this because this requires you to Focus on your light body as a very new thing. It can bring you very swift healing, upgrading, and up-leveling. Now, I've been doing this with people, and the results are nothing short of miraculous because people are able to wean off their medications. They're doing it knowingly. They are doing it with a plan and a focus on doing that. If this does not get addressed, what winds up happening is sometimes treatments are not effective unless you're incorporating 
the actual light body modality that I have. Now, there is a reason for that. The reason has to do with this is why you're really here. This is why you were awakened in the first place is for the opening, integration, leveling up and maintenance of your brand new light body from your human body. And this may be a newsflash for some people. So I'm here to talk to you about it. I'm here to inform you, update you, educate you, help you heal you and get you moving into the level that actually befits who you really are. The organs do need relief in this. So this is something, a uh, couple of things that you could do. Make sure that you're properly hydrated. Make sure that you're drinking enough water. What is enough water? It is sometimes actually more than eight glasses of water. More than eight, eight ounce glasses of water. It must include the water that's locked into your foods, particularly in, uh, we're going to say raw foods, but that mostly means fruits, vegetables, things that are uncooked where your body breaks it down and releases the water. If you have an impaired digestive system, many times this will affect your upper gastro. You start to eat and you feel the food hit your bottom part of your upper gastro here and, you know, goes down or you start feeling like you're rejecting the food to begin with. You get heartburn. And then sometimes it feels achy or painful. Why would that happen? Well, there are several reasons for it. Number one, you may be producing insufficient enzymes. Number two, you may not be getting the proper signals between the parts of you here and your higher connections to up-level you and ramp up the production of things like enzymes, um, all of the endocrine glands and organs your proper salivation if you have dry mouth or something like that so many times the organs need relief and there is a proper process to do this in that process involves sometimes refraining from certain things if they are irritants even if you do not have an allergy and then focusing into reintroduction but from a new level so you are literally unplugging here and plugging in at a new level after using my light body work, my twin flame modality so that you are integrating, you are uh, up leveling and you are lighting up the proper alchemy points that you need. Now this is all new, this is all brand new and yet it's been in the works for several years. We're now at a point where we can start addressing a chronic condition like this that we have a name for it called fibromyalgia. Many times medications are necessary to improve the quality of someone's life but sometimes they have other adverse reactions within the body. And for people who are ascending, sometimes your body is trying to tell you when it wants you to get rid of that, not get angry, but to simply start finding the way to wean off of it and start utilizing your light body. Would you like to find out about really good things like endorphins? like your serotonins, your endorphins, you know, all of the feel-good hormones that you're supposed to feel that are being inhibited right now at the condition that you're in. The peripheral nervous system is also one of the uh, primary and primal parts of you for feeling, holding, sensing, sensing love, feeling love on many people it has become blunted they have neuropathy they can't tell they numb themselves out they've been numbed out by life they've been beaten down and i like to say if you've been that kind of adventurer who has gone around during your existence and tried this and tried that and you know been here and lived here and done that right and now you have this condition this is not really who you are. Do you remember the joy? Do you have joyful hormones and feel good hormones coursing through your veins and your body? Even if you are not particularly, quote, together, you're still together. And one of you has to rip away all of this damage, 
the harms and the things that have been the downfall or the things that have eroded away and quite literally gotten on your nerves. So metaphysically, this has to do with what's on your nerves, who's on your nerves, what happened that really got on your nerves, and reversing that, ending it, and up-leveling you and upgrading you, okay? Because that is what Ascension is about. Twin Flame Ascension is for this. Now, I have several sessions that will help you with this. One is my Spirit Subtle Body session. This is for the integration of one of the main day in and day out parts of you that is replacing the ego. This is your spirit. The ego which has been connected to the group of souls that you've repeated things with endlessly ad nauseum until it literally is on your nerves. Many times that has dispirited you. You see dispirited people all over the place. They're like a shell of a person. They have no life. They're here, but they're not awake. And you could say the lights are on, but there's nobody home. Those are dispirited people. Dispirited people happen as the result of that last straw. You know, it was the last time they ever were traumatized. And the spirit won't stay. Okay? It stays nearby. We get people reintegrated with their spirit subtle body we dissolve and reintegrate the usable parts of the ego and we up level you now from this spirit that's where people become an entrepreneur that is when people become creative again they recapture their joy de vivre their joy for life and living how long has it been since you really felt joyful and you can't psych yourself and you can't be zen about everything there are still painful things you're going to witness painful things you're going to see things in the media whether you try to watch or not it comes into your awareness we are not here alone we are in this together and you signed on for this. Now, the other session that I have, which is much deeper, it is called the Psyche Subtle Body Session. Your psyche is responsible for the passion you feel. And that is missing from a lot of people's lives, even people that are married. And you can see this in modern marriages. They may have married for what they felt was love, and maybe they did feel it. And yet, the passion is gone. Many people describe this. Many, many people. Many people don't know what it really feels like. And yet this is a part that you share. This is, this is the deepest primal feeling part. This is also where you can feel things like patriotism. What have you given your loyalty to? What organization? What country? Or maybe that's your other half. What have they done? Where it's tacked down and there it is. There they lie as the result of what they felt because they did feel deeply. And how do you get that back? How do you get it back so that your love is usable for your own healing? So this is the main gist of my uh, sessions, which is to get you to a point where it is the love that heals. Deepak Chopra is saying it. Other people are saying it. Greg Braden, he's saying, you know, the heart has like something like 100 times more electricity than the brain. You cannot think your way through this. Now, your high heart is part of a larger complex that is intended to guide you, steer you, help heal you, and not just that part of you. So I have noticed this with trends by speaking to people all over the world. I have been very blessed to, and honored to be able to help people not only get their lives on track, get their health on track. You cannot power your way through some of this. You have to do it in a proper way. We also talk about supplementation. And one really good herb that I would recommend for this, uh, it doesn't have to be by this brand, but it is called horsetail. Horsetail has a lot, high degree of silica. So do green bell peppers. Um, they can be used in conjunction with each other. That is food for the nerves. That is food for the myelin sheathing for your nerves, which many times has been eroded away. 
Horsetail is great. And other supplements and instructions that I give are reliant upon your session because it is very personalized. Um, there are reasons for that because while there may be a pattern in terms of, you know, this happened and this happened and that happened, 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 boom, and you're down, how we get you back up is very personalized. How you start customizing your light body for your life, what you would do, your gifts and skills, your uniqueness, that is what starts to come through. And it comes through as the result of the session. For many people, they begin to feel it is the best idea ever. They come out of the fog of that fatigue, the debilitating tiredness, the round robin of exhaustion, the meds, the appointments, and sometimes pre-diabetes conditions. And sometimes you can look at a person and say, they seem like they're just waiting for death. We had, um, we've had several people where um, they felt convinced that they would die as the result because it makes them feel like they're in some form of a living death. I never want anyone to feel like they're trapped in their own body. Your body is the vessel. Your body is the house. Your body is the part of you that the love is being poured into. Maybe section by section or bit by bit. But if you have become bitter, discouraged, it's time for a different direction. So try it out. And we could talk about how does this work really? If you take someone in terms of how long they're suffering, my work by three sessions that are spaced out, and yes, there is the cost of three sessions. But if you look at the long-term cost of staying sick, of sick being sick and tired, of being sick and tired, and you look at the long-term cost, what is it really costing you? What is it costing your family? What is it costing all of us? What is it costing you in terms of limited production, the limits on you, or staying on disability or something? Yes, I've worked with people who are on disability, and they've been able to get off of it and start leading productive lives and reinvent themselves. So this is but one topic, the fibromyalgia, that I'm speaking about. There are other areas of the body that truly make people feel like they're being hindered. These are issues of the physical body, the central nervous system, and yes, this can affect your mental health. Mental health is physiological health, and I'm going to continue talking about this and talking about it because it is new. It's also what I do, and it is what my gifts lie in. I've done an awful lot of work to get myself to the level and remain clear so that I'm not tainting other people's sessions with your personal session. There is There are techniques that we do. We do not use psychotropics, and we don't use the tools. We use our intuitions, which are as quick as lover's intuition, to give us those flash insights of what's going on and make this efficient for you and well-versed and productive. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Reach out to me if you have questions and please know that everything, everything that you're going through is related to your journey and we can make it a good journey. So have a good day. Thank you. Bye.